In Verizon MDM, there are two ways to add users to the Verizon MDM. The first way is by doing one user at a time. By doing this, we'd go to Manage, Create User. Here, we would fill out the information. Email address would be John Doe at talksig.com. First name would be the name of the user, last name, the last name of the user, and the password you would like them to have. For Verizon MDM, password must contain a capital letter, at least one symbol, and contain altogether eight characters. Once you have confirmed and added all the information in, you will just hit save. You have successfully added at least one user, and now you can actually add it to different groups by selecting group memberships, add group assignment, and assign it to whichever group you would like it to go to. If you need to remove it from a group, all you have to do is put your cursor on the group that you need to remove, select the little X for delete assignment, confirm that you are deleting the assignment, you have successfully removed the assignment. Now, if you need to do more than one or two users at a time, and you need to do a bulk upload, first, we must go to Manage, Bulk Import, on the right hand side, there is a plus sign. Once you have the import type, we need to change it from bulk import devices to bulk import users. Then we would download a sample file and we would customize it. Or we would fill out an Excel spreadsheet. The first slot would be action, the second user ID, then password, then email. The rest of these are for property IDs, group names, remove group by names, users, group names, network names. The only information we need to fill out is the action, the user ID, the password, and the email. The user ID and the email are generally going to be the exact same on both sides. The password, you can change the password per user, but we recommend to keep the same password. From here, we would press Control All or right click and select All, copy, go to a notepad and hit paste. Once you have added this to a notepad, we will then save it, go back to the Verizon MDM, we would choose a file, and of course this will be our document we just created. and then hit upload. It will then upload those users for us. To confirm this, we go to manage, search users. And now we have three more users that we just added.